All right, we are going to cover steady state error. So forget about all the textbooks. Um, most of them, if not all, overly complicates steady state error and makes you memorize a lot of things. And what you need to know is three steps. Step one, step two, and step three, and that's it. You can apply steady state error analysis to any block diagram. So let's get started. In a closed loop system, you would like the track to comment C that enters to your block diagram. And you have some output, right? So steady state error is nothing but as T goes to infinity, the difference between C and Y, simple. All right, and after this definition of the steady state error, with three steps, you can easily calculate steady state error. So here I draw a cloud. Inside this cloud, it can be any uh, block diagram that you can imagine. So C enters this cloud and output exits. It, like, it can be unity feedback, non-unity feedback, it doesn't matter. Step one, find the closed loop system. Find the transfer function, closed loop system transfer function between input C and output Y. So this is step one. And before you proceed further, check if your closed loop system transfer function is stable. If it is not stable, right, system will diverge, state state error doesn't exist. If it is marginally stable, another problem. So if your closed loop system is stable, proceed. Otherwise, don't bother yourselves in finding the state state error. After checking the stability of the closed loop system transfer function, basically look for if they, its poles are on the left half plane. Step two, form E in Laplace, right? C minus Y, or in Laplace domain C of S minus Y of S. Now, Y of S is nothing but C multiplied by the closed loop system transfer function, so GCL multiplied by C or you can write it more compactly, write C multiplied by one minus GCL. Step three, apply final value theorem. What is final value theorem? E of infinity, right? As T goes to infinity. Limit multiplied by S, S going to zero, E of S. Just calculate this limit. One of, and don't forget, this is one of the mistakes. Put S here. This is coming from final value theory. And that's it. Here is your state state error with three steps that you can apply any block diagram configuration. You may also have disturbances. Step one will slightly change in this case. I will talk about it at the end of this video. Now let's talk about you have one input and the output. All right, example one. Let's consider, let's look at this unity uh, feedback case. You have this transfer function and you are interested in finding the state state error of the system, right? C, for example, <clears throat> um, let's say altitude, three meters from the ground. You are applying your control action to your quadcopter. Will it go to three meters or not? This is a steady state error, so we need to find it. All right, so for this, we first find the closed loop system transfer function. In this case, one divided by s to the power of two, three s plus three. Checking stability first. Looking at the denominator, our poles are located at minus 1.5 plus minus 0.86 J. Perfect. Closed loop system is stable. I would like to write find 1 minus GCL to proceed with step 2 and step 3. 1 minus GCL is s to the power of 2, 3s plus 2 divided by s to the power of 2, 3s plus 3. Now you need a comment to find the steady state error. Let's say our command is unity, one. In Laplace domain, if you take the Laplace transformation, this corresponds to one over S. Now putting things together, E of infinity is limit S, S going to zero multiplied by E of S. So our E of S is C of S, one coming from here, multiplied by one minus GCL, one minus GCL. This is this one in blue, now it is in red. And this S and this one over S will cancel out with each other. You end up having this one, S to the power of two, three S two, divided by S to the power of two, three S plus three. 
When s goes to zero, these terms will go to zero. You only end up having two and three. So the answer is two over three. You have a state state error. You apply one system where, you know, because you can think like, like this, you applied one, this is two over three. So y goes to one over three. You want to one meter, but it goes just one over three meters, a huge state state error. Now, um, let's look at the second example. So in the second example, almost identical to the first one, but I have one extra s. This can come from integrator, like PID's i, one over s. Um, Let's see what happens when you have additional s on the denominator. I am going to follow the same steps. In this case, GCL becomes 1 divided by s to the power of 3, 3s three to the power of 2, 2s two plus 1. Now, our poles are located at minus 2.32, minus 0.33, plus minus 0.56j. Our closed loop system is stable, so we can proceed. I am finding 1 minus GCL. It is s thanks to this guy, s to the power of 2, 3s plus 2, s to the power of 3, 3s three to the power of 2, 2s two plus 1. The same comment, c equals to 1, or c of s, 1 over s. Now putting things in this form, final Willy theorems, this limit s coming from here, 1 over s coming from here, and this red is 1 minus GCL coming from here. And basically, once again, they will cancel out with each other. Now, S will go to 0. Because of this, it will make the state state error 0. Because of this, because of this. So basically, you know, as you increase S here, this will help you to kill the state state error. And all right, since this is not a control design, I, I would like to stop here. I will talk about the disturbance case now. But you know, if you have a S multiplying your denominator, you can track constant comments. If you have S to the power of two, you can track now, for example, comment that looks like T. Um, and um, you can do so uh, by basically following these three steps. Now let me raise here. Let's talk a little bit more. One final thing. How step one changes if you have disturbances or in reality additional inputs. All right, so let me draw C of S. Let's say you have D of S, you have G of S, Y of S. In this case, once you find the closed loop system transfer function, actually you will get this. Y of S will be G of S divided by 1 plus G of S, C of S, plus g of s divided by 1 plus g of s d of s. The thing is, you are not going to get something pure as this, right? Because you don't, you have two inputs, you cannot write it like this, but that's okay. It will only change step one. So in step one, if you have multiple inputs, basically find y of s. All the other steps remain the same. To proceed with other steps, you know, their denominators will be the same. In this case, their numerators are also the same, but if this, this disturbance is entering from some other place, or if we have non-unity feedback, 
numerators may be different, but, but the denominators will be the same. So take one of the denominators, set it to zero, check if the poles are on the left half plane. If yes, if stable, step, uh, proceed with step two. Step two is the same. You are going to find, I am dropping S, C minus Y, that's it. For this case, for example, C minus Y, if you write it, it will have this form, C minus G, 1 plus G, C minus G, 1 plus G, D, or equals to C, 1 minus G, 1 plus G, minus G, 1 plus G, D. And so it is exactly the same step, and this is how it works in this example. And then apply final value theorem, E infinity equals the limit, S going to zero, S, E of S. Now, previously in the here, if you, ha if you have just one input, your input was the player that contributes to the steady state error. Now you have two players. Let's say C of t is 1, D of t is 1 in Laplace domain. This becomes 1 over s. This becomes 1 over s. Insert 1 minus g uh, over 1 plus g. And these here. Apply the final value theorem. And that's it. Done with it. So these are the three steps that works for any block diagram you may have, if you have more than one input, basically instead of finding the closed loop system transfer function, directly find y because here you just need to insert y to find e of s. Don't forget to check stability, that's important, and then apply final value theorem to get e infinity. All right, thanks.